to the lecture on measurement of precipitation. The learning objective of this lecture is to demonstrate the process of measurement of precipitation. So this measurement of precipitation is nothing but determination of amount of precipitation, determination of intensity of precipitation, determination of duration of precipitation and to study the aerial extent of the precipitation the total area which has been covered by this precipitation so it comes under measurement of precipitation so this measurement of precipitation is very very important for various hydrological processes hydrological parameter determination also so precipitation is measured in terms of depth so depth means the unit of this precipitation may be mm inches centimeter or sometimes the behavior in pole is there it is also prescribed in terms of meter also the precipitation is collected and measured with the help of rain gauge rain gauge is instrument which is useful for measurement of precipitation so these rain gauges can be classified broadly classified into two categories one is non-recording type of rain gauges and second is a recording type of rain gauges so we'll discuss first non-recording rain gauge the most commonly used rain gauge in india is Siemens rain gauge it comes under non-recording rain gauge in its simplest form it consists of a funnel here you can see this is the funnel uh, which is provided with a circular rim so here are the top circular rim of 127 mm diameter and just below it a glass bottle as a receiver so this is the outer casing so this complete assembly it is embedded into this concrete block of 600 by 600 by 600 mm this depth is 203 mm from this to this and this total depth above ground level is 305 mm the rain falling into this funnel is collected in the receiver and with measured with a facial measuring glass which is graduated in terms of rainfall of mm when full it can measure 1.25 centimeter of rainfall and in case of this the measurements are made every day at 8 30 am indian standard time and is recorded as rainfall of that day the non-recording rain gauge gives only the total rainfall of the previous 24 hours so it gives idea regarding the amount so intensity duration that one cannot get from this Siemens rain gauge if heavy rainfall is there in that case the frequent observations can be made at certain interval or depending upon the amount of precipitation but the last measurement should be made at 8 30 am only to know the total amount of rainfall the difficulty in case of the Siemens rain is that it should be protected from various types of animals grazing animals so for this purpose normally it is covered with the help of barbed pencil to protect it now coming to next category that is recording rain gauges as its name suggests it record the precipitation automatically with the help of mechanical arrangement it consists of a clockwork a drum and a graph paper with pencil it record the precipitation in the form of mass curve of rainfall so this mass curve of rainfall is nothing but it is the plot of accumulated rainfall versus time so accumulated is nothing but added to precipitation which has occurred at different interval up to the end that is recorded and then this plot can be plotted so from this mass curve of rainfall one can get idea regarding the total depth of precipitation which has occurred for certain period or at the end of the rainfall also cessation of rainfall also it gives idea regarding the total duration of the precipitation which has occurred it gives idea regarding intensity so from this mass curve of rainfall one can determine one can find out the intensity of rainfall also so under this recording type of rain gauges mainly there are three categories which are mentioned here tipping bucket type weighing bucket type and float type of rain gauge also called as siphon type of rain gauge we'll discuss one by one so very first is tipping bucket type of rain gauge so here you can see the schematic diagram of this tipping bucket type it consists of a cylindrical receiver 30 centimeter diameter with the funnel inside so below this along with this rim 
or receiver is is funnel is provided from this the precipitation is collected and just below this funnel of pair of tipping bucket is provided so when precipitation is collected this to funnel it will come to a tipping bucket and when one of the tipping bucket receives a rainfall of 0.25 mm very small amount 0.25 mm it tips down it discharges of that precipitation which is uh, and it empties out other tank below it while the other bucket takes its place and the process is uh, remitted so in case of this rainfall will get automatically recorded with the help of this recording because this is the arrangement or connection is given which is connected to the recording device so to with the help of this measuring tube we can have check on this precipitation amount of precipitation which can we can have cross check so this is all about tipping bucket type of rain gauge now coming to next category that is weighing bucket type rain gauge in this type of rain gauge when a certain weight of rainfall is collected in a bucket which rests on a springing balance so here you can see his rim is there and this is the funnel just below this this bucket is provided the catch bucket is provided also called as spring bucket and it is balanced on a spring balance when certain amount of precipitation it enters into this catch bucket in that case this spring balance it actuates it operates and this is connected to this assembly where rainfall can be recorded automatically you can see here the prayer this pen is there or pencil is there and this is the revolving drum which is wrapped with a graph paper or you can say chart and here clock mechanism is provided so due to this when it will actuate this balance so it will operate actually this complete assembly and the rainfall is recorded automatically with the help of this graph paper again in the form of marker of rainfall this is about weighing bucket type of rain gauge now coming to float type rain gauge because this float type rain gauge also called as siphon type of rain gauge also called as integrating type of rain gauge so in this type of rain gauge as rain is collected in the float chamber the float moves up so this is the float chamber here float is provided it moves up which makes a pen to move on a chart wrap on a clock drum so it will actuate to this pen and here the chart is wrapped one end on in this revolving drain when the float chamber fills up the water siphons out automatically through a siphon tube one siphonic action means 10 mm of rainfall when once it siphons out in that case the total amount of rainfall is 10 mm this rain gauge is most popular in india in most at most of the indian meteorological department you will find this type of rain gauge it gives very accurate amount of rainfall thank you